his first words, this speech was different. It's a great honor to stand before you today. Foreign leaders usually speak their like native the language Congress. when they address Congress, the but Europe. President Calderon chose Biden's English instead of Spanish. I have come here as your neighbor, as your partner, as your ally, and as your friend. It was a sign that his remarks were not designed for domestic consumption in Mexico, but rather to capture the attention of the American public. He spoke bluntly, as sometimes only a friend can do. He talked about border violence and the need to find a way to curb illegal immigration. What we need today is to fix a broken and inefficient system. President Calderon criticized a new law in the border state of Arizona that requires police to question anyone they believe may be in the country illegally. I strongly disagree with the recently adopted law in Arizona. It is a law It is a law that not only ignores a reality that cannot be erased by decree, but also introduces a terrible idea using racial, racial profiling as a basis for law enforcement. Violence along the border in part prompted the new law in Arizona. Mr. Calderon said his government is making an all-out effort to go after criminals and drug gangs responsible for the bloodshed. He said America must do its part by reimposing a ban on the sale of military-style semi-automatic weapons. He said these assault weapons fuel the violence. We have seized 75,000 guns and assault weapons in Mexico in the last three years. And more than 80 percent of those we have been able to trace came from, United St from the United States. The Mexican president is the first foreign head of state or government to address Congress this year. On Wednesday, he was honored at the White House with all the trappings of a state visit. Paula Wolfson, VOA News, Capitol Hill.